All right, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Freeden Beyond Journey's End episode 11. Last episode was another fantastic episode. The last two have just been crazy. Um, we had Freeden taking on and finishing off with little to no effort uh, all of the guillotine uh, and her army in, in, in tow. Um, it was nice to see the influence that Flam had on uh, Frieden. It's uh, up until now, it's mostly been the influence of um, Himal and Co. But it's nice to see that magic side of her, where she got it from. Flam was there; she was like there to save Frieden, basically, um, and teach her all she knew. She taught her how to conceal her mana, which has helped drastically against demons because they are full of themselves and couldn't possibly understand why someone would want to do that. But she absolutely destroyed her order, embarrassed her, um, didn't need to destroy her, just told her to kill herself, which is, ooh, God, crazy, crazy way. I love ruthlessness, um, just the right amount of ruthlessness. And for the end towards demons is absolutely ruthless. I love it. Um, but yeah, overall, very good episode. I'm definitely looking forward to this one. As always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. Why does this remind me of the Halo theme song? Or the theme tune? <laughs> really does remind me of it. Uh, she's praying for all the, the dead that were brought back to life and killed by order. Everyone's here. Wasn't one of them like related to this guy or he had the same kind of necklace? Stark looks beat the fuck up, man. Jesus. Oh, yeah, because Free Ren didn't attack. Didn't really attack them, did she? <laughs> Don't say it like that. I'm not a dog. Oh, she knew you could do it. She had faith. I love that. <laughs> Stark, Stark doesn't have the the luxury of magic. Oh, that one, yeah. Is this his son or his father or something? Damn, bro. Motion's hitting. We're like two minutes in. Make a statue of me. <laughs> oh, nice. Oral tradition, okay. <laughs> I must akin to an infant. True. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Stark almost lost his shit as well. <laughs> Stark, no way you're scared of this random executioner. Yeah, that's what you interrupt for. <laughs> we. Oh, he's floating. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Is Freden gonna be like, yeah, sure, we'll stick around for this? I feel like she'll just move on. <laughs> Carrying Stark, Jesus. Look at that big ass burger. Oh my god. Oh, they're sticking around to help the place. Nice. Yes, thank you for healing this man. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god, the guy with the axe. <laughs> this song's really nice. Really, really nice song. I hope this is on Spotify. It's going to my anime songs list. Oh, is that him putting his sword there? Damn. That's awesome. I like his winter coat. Oh, the the necklace the guy had on is the same as the emblem on the their flag. Wow. That's fine. She'll sort it out. Don't worry. Luckily, Frieden is there. Does she not have this? Third class? Oh, okay. Why am I getting vibes from One Punch Man? <laughs> a sight time trying to get a certification. Oh, this thing's probably hella old, huh? What is that antique? That is barely anything. They've, re they've really got a test for Iran. 
They better put her as an S-class mage, I swear. Also, the fact that Fern is a third-class mage is kind of crazy to me. The music in this show hits, man. My god. This and Vinland Saga, absolute best OSTs, like, best music this year. What, the cold? Oh, okay. Well, lucky two of you are mages, and you'll have spells that will keep you warm, I suppose. Stark's gonna pass away. Help him. 28 years after the death of Humal the Hero in the Dek region located in the Northern Lands. We haven't had that in a few episodes. Yeah, from the, the, the inn or the cafe. That'd be funny to watch, not gonna lie. <laughs> you may just need to up your strength. <laughs> oh, don't be mean. Oh, that's cool. Nice, it's still there. After 80 years, wow. The hell is this noise? It sounds like he's exercising or something. Oh, he is, okay. It's an elf! You just come inside, it's fine, he's weird, whatever. Fern, what? Bro, come on. <laughs> he's weird, so what? He's exercising, what do you mean? Oh my god, that voice! Oh my god, that voice, yes! This character is going to be important, let's go. <laughs> like I was just exercising to keep himself warm. Is this boy dead? <laughs> is he on the brink of li life and death? This is what he sees with Aizen. <laughs> Bro. Interesting. What what a what a thing to wake up to. It's like, eh? Eh? Huh? <laughs> oh my god. Why every time <laughs> that this guy's voice actor, or this voice actor, I forget his name, but he's so famous. Do you always have to be some muscly guy? <laughs> Do you call them Osan? Is that like old man or something? I mean, he's an elf, so I guess that's true. And they're under the snow. Great. He doesn't know about Farida and Eva? What? He doesn't care. Wow. I suppose, yeah. It's it's the same as Free Run. He, it, this was just such a small portion of our life. Six months. Whoa. And Pious, that's like their religion, I guess. You're young. How old is this guy? I wonder if this is what history says this goddess looks like or if he's just seeing her as an elf as well. This guy seems nice. Aww, hey Ter. Good man. So what? <laughs> Maybe Himel was that person. Oh, The same thing this guy said. That, that, yeah, that's definitely worth some praise. It's for a righteous mission as well. Oh, wow. And one did. So in terms of like the party structure, I guess the hater would be like a cleric. And not like a full-blown, like, mage, like, uh, Frieden. Oh, yeah. This is a very sweet episode. I'll see you in a few centuries. Wow. He was a nice guy. Alright, so that was episode 11 of Frieden Beyond Journey's End. We met Dio, a nice Dio. We met we met an, a nice Toji, you know. Um, yeah, we met another elf, which was fun. An elf even older than Fidian, I should say as well. Strong, muscly monk elf. Seemed like a really nice guy. Um, 
it's unfortunate that we may never see him again. <laughs> um, hopefully, I mean, hopefully we will. Like, for story purposes, like, it just feels odd that they would introduce a character like this. Um, especially with that voice actor. It'd be a waste not to use him again. Um, and, like, never have him show up again. But I suppose that's how elves be. And as long as this story goes on, and as long as we're, we are within the lifetimes of Stark and Fern, we may never see him again. So, hey, he was a good character. I liked it. I liked the topic of religion in this episode. I like how um, how it mesh, meshes with kind of Frieden's life and her encounters with like Hater and Himal and whatnot as well. It's really cool. I like it. I liked it. The Fern's a uh, religious gal as well, obviously being raised by a priest. So that was another topic for Frieden to think about and understand her friends. Really sweet. Um, a very good episode. Uh, I really enjoyed the kind of the sign off with the city that she saved as well with Graf and um, just really emotional, good times, good music, good vibes, good emotions all around. Um, overall, a very good episode. I'm definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching my reaction. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.